Well, I hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, I think I posted one video today that I'd worked on on the weekend, but uh, I want to show you the FTW. I'm not going to say what it means. You should know. Uh, this is uh, a good, wholesome family channel. Did you subscribe? Did you uh, tell some of your pals to follow me? Uh, I'm up to 4,600 uh, subscribers. Uh, I think my last video did uh, 36 or close to 4,000 views already in a few days. I really appreciate that. Some of you comment. I, I, I really like that. And we, well, I try to answer everybody back. Okay, so uh, hit the subscribe, hit the like button, and then let's move along. So what I'm trying, what I'm trying to get here from, from this pendant here, and this little video that I'm going to show you, is that I emailed back and forth with uh, Mark. Mark said, well, I'd like an FTW pendant. So I said, okay, great, want to do some diamonds around the edge. It's all set up for diamonds around the edge. And I lay out my, my diamonds. So I lay out this project on the computer because it's going to be milled. It's a milled piece of wax. It's a very hard piece of wax. It's milling wax. I think it comes in purple and uh, 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 green for sure. This is, the, I believe, the harder one. Purple's a little bit more brittle, I think. Um, okay, anyways, I use green. Green wax. If you check my 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 movies or my videos from before, uh, you'll see that there's a couple in there about making the green wax from all my leftovers and pouring blocks and things like that. So it's a real go-to. Getting really expensive. Uh, uh, it used to be like 20. Well, that's, that's everything used to be. It used to be 20 bucks a block. Now it's like 48 dollars a block. So it pays to recycle and do a video on that. And I got a couple band saws here and I cut up all sorts of things. Okay, so I go to the computer and with Art Cam. This one's a real straightforward two and a half dimensional program. It's flat on the back and it's got height and some things like that. So I go to, to, to ArtCam. Oh, excuse me. I went to ArtCam and uh, I set that up. I don't my regular holders, you guys. So I set that up and we have a rough idea what size we wanted it. And then I've got some molds here for, I'm sorry, on top of it. This is the bale. So the cross stick in the bale, but that bale there is a real standard, nice man-sized bale. I'm going to inject the wax for that, use that, set this up with a little jump ring on it, and I'm going to cast that in gold tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a bit of video about that. But so the video here today is art cam, a little bit of the computer file. That's the red overlapping file, and you'll it's the tip of the bit. I try to explain it best I can. And then um, the mill running, yes, the mill's a little bit noisy because it's older mill, so the Ford motor on top. Uh, it's, um, it's just a great mill, though. It's been uh, retrofitted by uh, Dimitri over at New Solutions CNC here in the Lower Mainland. What a great guy. I've done business with him. I hired him 20 years ago. I've done business with him ever since. Um, great guy. His people are great people, too. Okay, and with that being said, uh, I like milling. Yes, I have uh, I have 3D rapid prototyping. Uh, this is a piece that I worked on uh, years ago. That's uh, you know who that is. I can't say who it is because that's copyright. But you, if you can imagine who that is, that's a cool piece. Okay, uh, what else? This one here we talked about. This is skull ring, skull and horns. I just mailed one of them out. They're cool. That's 3D rapid uh, rapid prototyping type of thing, 3D laser printing. And then these are cutting around, cutting around the Coquitlam Chiefs. I made this for my son. This was just a one-off. Uh, so you'll see the mill running and you'll see a kind of a final product from the mill. And then you'll see, well, this is the piece I'm actually gonna use, okay? So hopefully this little bit helps. Uh, I did some things on the torch, a tor that uh, Gentech torch is working beautifully. Uh, I sanded off the little corners, things like that. Oh, this turned out beautiful. I've got it all bolted together now. That's a stainless steel bolt in there because I didn't want to risk it with a, a, a silver, uh, with a brass, brass bolt. And uh, this one here is uh, stainless steel. So yeah, that's ready to go. That's cool too. So go. Uh, 
reach out to somebody, make sure everybody's okay. Be kind to your farm animals. I say that all the time. I like my dogs. I love my dogs. Okay, you guys? All right, have a great okay, day. Okay, so this is a computer file. This is vectors. There's all sorts of... Uh, tools here on this page that makes these things, right? And then there's a tool where you go shape editor and then you can assign each of these a height. It's real straightforward, flat, two and a half dimensional design. Let's remove the, uh, the milling program. That's it there. Add the milling program back. And that little red milling program, we zoom in real close that that those lines are the tip of the bit going back and forth back and forth till it's red and that's what that blue pattern is there what this Mach 3 understands and it's a numerical type of sequence which this understands so it knows right now that where I thought my finger is that's 000, zero. that's 0025 zero, zero, where the tip is so it knows that and so all all of these All of these jogs, like you see right here, there's a jog. That's a numerical location. That's a numerical location. It doesn't have to plot the, the line. It plots that and plots that. And then it travel the bit, the tip of the bit travels from there to there. And then from there to there. Okay, I hope that is a little bit more uh, self-explanatory. But anyways, that's the pendant, right? Oh, that's the pendant, right? And, uh, and you see the wax. Yes, this machine's a little noisy, but we're here to... Okay, so I've got that running. It's running a lot nicely. It's already been running for 34 and a half minutes. It's probably 40% of the way through it. So, you know, ask yourself, could you hand carve you hand carve that in an hour, maybe another hour for setup. The answer is no. It's hard to do things with one hand. Okay. Look at that so I've already got my diamonds laid out so I'll just gonna come by with a ball burr and go through each one of them then a setting burr and then zoom along just put stones in just one after the other be a nice it's gonna be a nice pendant